G'day guys, welcome back, welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I'm going to do a little fun video for you today. Uh, the weather's warming up and um, I just live 10 minutes from the beach and I thought, oh, let's do something beachy. And I am going to use this, like a, it's a tree, it's a plastic tree type thing. Um, what would you call it? I just, I snipped that off the bottom. I think it's called like a sea fan it's just plastic it's pretty thin got them on Amazon it came in a set of four I've taken my scissors I've snipped that off the bottom there because I don't need that and as you can see it's a bit bit longer it fits this way but it's a bit longer this way so I just got my scissors and I trimmed all the way around um, here's one I prepared earlier <laughs> and then it fits in there like so now the only issue is, it's quite at the bottom here, I don't know if you can see, but it kind of goes up and down and up and down, so I can't, like, it's plastic and I can bend it, but it's just going to go back how it was. So anyway, I'm hoping that <laughs> it won't poke through the top too much. I can, I can do a top coat, but I don't think it's going to like sit totally totally flat so got a little bit of room all the way around and I'll just snip that one as well and I've got equal amounts all the way around I am going to pop some just a few pebbles down the bottom here um, I'm going to put like a light blue background and I think it'll be really nice standing up on a um, in a plate stand or something in a window and you'll see that light coming through I think it'll look really pretty so uh, this is my large uh, round tray mold I've got small medium large and extra large this is the large one and I will link I'll find where I, I got these from on Amazon um, and I will link those for you as well there was also one that was much bigger like huge um, but it was quite deep, like the branches and that. So you'd have to have quite a deep mold for it. So I'm just going to go with this one. I have got 300 grams of resin mixed up here. And I think I'm just going to use, like I've done a lot of teal type things. And I really want to just do blue this time. So I'm going to see what this looks like. Um, some blues, if you only, because I want it to be quite transparent. Um, so I'm using a dark blue called Jeans. And I'll see how that looks. This is, um, oh look at it, it's a, I think it's a pretty shade. If I use a really pale blue, it's, it, it's going to even look more pale. This is Octopus Fluids Resin Ink. So we'll just see what that looks like. And we can add a couple more drops if we need to, but we'll just see what the one looks like first. And I can check the shade see whether or not I want to add a bit more there's a lot of the ink stuck still stuck on the side of the cup so get all that down and mixed in before we make our decision as to whether or not we want to add any more so it looks quite dark there now and it was only one drop the other way you can tell as well and I've shown you this little trick before is just to use a bit of paper towel and put a little bit on there and uh, you know you can see what the difference is it's not very dark there it's dark it looks darker here because it's in a deep cup but when it's only in here this is one centimeter deep um, it's just under half an inch so it's not really deep so let's do one more drop and see what that looks like And if you wanted to at this stage, um, you know, if you wanted it to be a little bit more on the teal side, uh, you know, you could add a little bit of green. I did want this one to be blue because I think the, um, you know, the nice white branches would look nice against it. All right, let's have a look at this now, see what it's looking like. Still, still quite pale, as you can see. But um, I think I might go with that. I've just dropped a drop in there. <laughs> All right. Um, now, I, ha I haven't done my 
four minutes stirring yet. I wanted to add the colour in first. So I'm only going to do my four minutes stirring. Um, I don't know what that's going to look like. I might actually get a little container and just pour a centimetre deep into it so then I can see what it's going to look like. Because there's no point pouring it in and then you go, oh gosh, I wish I'd made it darker. So I'm going to stir it for another four minutes and uh, then I will come back to you. Righto, I have mixed up my resin and I think I'm going to go with the... Uh, can't decide. Can't decide! Alright, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Get a few of those big pieces out. Um, I don't need very many. We'll do that one. That was my other choice. Anyway, do that. So, um, I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to spray it really well with my isopropyl all over. And I am just going to pour my resin in <laughs> and hopefully, hopefully it'll be all right. Hopefully I'll be able to um, just kind of pick out bubbles. I did put my resin in the vacuum chamber but it's still got some little micro bubbles in it so that's the 300 grams of resin in there and as you can see it hasn't covered it all the way to the top which is fine if I go any I think if I go any um, deeper Probably not going to, it, well, it might flash cure, it might flash cure, so we'll do that. We'll put some of these little pebbles in along the bottom here. Um, I was wondering if I should maybe cut, no I won't, cut off a branch. If I cut that branch off, it's going to take this one right up to here. No, I won't. I'll leave it. I'll leave it as it is. I'll leave it. I'm just going to pop some of these little pebbles in along here. Like so. I probably didn't need to clean off that stick. Let's just pop these down. That one's a bit big. So just kind of haphazardly just filling in some of this area here. I don't mind if the pebbles spill over a little bit. I'm okay with that. I'm stuck. Are you stuck? Oh gosh. There we go. Got him. Now look, I have no idea if this is going to work, you guys. <laughs> uh, we'll just we'll just have to wait and see. Hey, okay? we'll wait and see. I'm sure it'll still be pretty might not be a hundred percent because a it might poke through the top a little bit B we may get bubbles but um, we'll see see how it goes hey eh? sometimes resin just does what resin wants to do and um, not necessarily a hundred percent happy with what we get. <laughs> But, you know, it's handmade art. And, um, yeah, you just have to kind of accept that. It's not really going to do what you want it to do most of the time. It's going to get these little pebbles pushed in a bit more. I guess I could have put the pebbles down first. Now, when I do the top, well, when I do the top coat, um, I'll add a few more pebbles, but for the moment, for the moment, that'll do. See, I don't even think I can stick it down. Um, maybe I can, maybe I can. I could probably maybe do that, push that down. Because this is the main part here. But see, when I do that, everything else wants to lift up. <laughs> like, watch that, that lifts up. But um, you could put, put something heavy on it, you know. Fill that up, put that on it there, just to keep that little pointed area down but uh, yeah these these all tend to to float up but I think I'll do that 
I'll just um, put a little weight on it there. So pretty much this is all I'm going to do for now. Make sure that everything is fitting in. Bring it down a bit if it needs to. Or you can trim off a little bit there. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I wonder if this will sit on there like so. Yep, <laughs> that'll work. I'll use those later on, those bits. I'll just pop that there and hopefully, hopefully it'll be all right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if, if, if you can actually put, push them down. Actually, I need to put plastic underneath that. <laughs> Otherwise, my stick's going to get stuck. Like I did with my caterpillar the other day, you cover it with plastic and then put your your um, weight down. Um, otherwise, your your stick's going to be in there permanently. So um, I may do that now. I'm going to give it a little bit of a. I can see some little bubbles there. Let's give it a bit of a spray with the isopropyl alcohol, like so. That's pretty good. Those micro bubbles seem to have come up to the top. What do you think of my colour? It's not as dark as I was expecting, but. That's okay. Um, if you make it too dark, you're not going to see these these branches. But then once it's up in the window and they've got the light shining through, hopefully we will we'll still see them. All right, so that's pretty much it for now. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to do anything with that. I may, may get a little bit of plastic. Um, and by plastic, I mean you could just get like a little piece of... Um, you can cut a little piece of a plastic bag and just put it there. It's a bit big. Probably cut it down a little bit. Cut it down, just cut a piece of plastic out. You need a tiny bit. Just like so. And remember, we don't do a top coat, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, you know, if the plastic gets in there. There we go. That'll do. All right. <laughs> That's my makeshift. Um, and then I've still got a little bit of room for the, for the top coat. So, um, yeah, I will, I'll see you in a few hours for the top coat. Right. This has cured now. And we'll take our little pebbles off. And peel the plastic off. There we go. All right. Well, that's worked well. That's um, this little bit has been poked underneath. So um, I thought I could just fill it with clear, but then I'm thinking, wouldn't it be nice to have a few little fishies in there, so that when it's standing up, like on its little plate or on a windowsill or on a bookshelf or wherever you want to put it. Um, It'll just look a little bit more three-dimensional. Now, I've got these. I haven't used them. I bought them like a year ago. I haven't used them before. So I thought, I want to try those. Uh, Resin Club, it is. Not sure where I got them from. Like I said, it was about a year ago. So they're just little, just little stickers. And I peeled that one off before just to see what it would look like. They're quite sweet. So anyway, um, I just thought I'm going to just do it. I'm going to put it in between some of the little areas there. They're a little bit difficult to, to peel. It says on the instructions that the glue's quite strong and um, tweezers would be good. So I can see that. I can see how that would work, tweezers. So anyway, I'm just going to put a few in between my branches. Oh, these are those weird worm things that stick out of the ground. I don't think I want those. And there's some bubbles as well. Mm, I don't think I've... Actually, you know what I've got? I've got one of these dental thingies from... Yeah, <laughs> dental clippy things. Maybe I can use that to lift it up. That works. This is a tiny little fishy. So anyway, um, <laughs> oh, it's going to be a bit fiddly, isn't it? Now it's stuck to my finger.
All right. They're, they're a little bit, they're a little bit fiddly. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is why they say to use tweezers. I understand that now. I, I get that now. Although these are not the best tweezers. These are my old tweezers that have got silicone. I put silicone on them um, so that metal things would would not, like, yeah, wouldn't get stuck. Okay, that's probably a better idea. <laughs> tweezers. All right, so um, I'm just going to do a few of these. Um, and then I'm going to pour some clear on. I'll put you on fast forward. Time lapse. Right, oh, did you enjoy that? <laughs> I um, I used all the little fishies on there actually. After I started putting them around, I thought, oh, fish should swim in schools. I should really group a couple together. So we've got little groups of them. <laughs> Just put a couple of extra in. So there we go. And uh, I've got my resin all mixed up. I'm going with the Platinum 360 Plus because it will set and cure just in a few hours and uh, I'll be able to unmold so we'll do that I'm not sure if I I need any more little pebbles or not I'm not sure just to kind of bring up the height here a little bit maybe a couple of small ones mm, maybe not maybe not probably don't need any more really it's pretty much pretty level on the top here not much room for anything else really so anyway we'll just get to um, pouring this now I am going to just spray the surface with a little bit of isopropyl just uh, because I've got some of these branches poking out and I don't want bubbles on them I'm gonna pour onto a stick so it's not splashing onto the surface making bubbles but not use it all just yet. I'd hate for it to overflow. I mixed up 100 grams of A, 43 grams of B. And uh, yeah, I was hoping that would be enough just for a, a little thin coat over the surface. I just spread that gently and then I can add a little bit more. I just didn't want to overfill the mold. A little bit more over here now this like I said it's, it's going to be like a 3d almost a 3d type of a pour and um, there probably be a few little white branches poking through the surface but I'm not worried about that this one isn't going to be used as a tray as such it's more of just a, a decoration piece of art You don't always have to have it like a practical thing. Who goes out to the homes, home decor, decor, decor stores, just to buy a shell or a piece of coral just to put on a coffee table so it looks pretty? Like it doesn't have to always be a coaster or a tray or a bowl, you know, something that's more traditionally usable from resin art it can just be a gorgeous piece of art that you've created oh that's dry I was trying to wipe that but it's it's dry resin stuck to the edges all right oh, I need a little bit more there I don't know that I've got any more I thought I was making enough but I could probably have made a tiny bit more just to go to the edges Alrighty, there's a little bubble there. I need to get that. That's my little torch. 
Just a little baby torch. I don't want to melt anything. Little little tiny one. Now, where was that bubble? There. If you see a tiny little bubble, you can just pick it out or flick it into the surface, into the middle there, so that you can torch it. Um, don't, there's one. And there's one. They cling, they, a few just cling to the branches. But um, the spraying with the isopropyl really did help to stop them clinging to the branches. So that's pretty much it. Now, there's not going to be a huge wow moment for the demolding because you can already see what's going on. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hopefully, um, hopefully it'll look pretty once I've demolded. There's a bubble there. A couple of little bubbles in the stones. Now, I'm not going to spray the surface with the isopropyl because I don't like how the alcohol leaves like a, a watermark on top. So I'm not going to do that. Um, I'll just give it a, a little light torching and um, just pick out any little bubbles if they're trapped between the stones. And that's basically it. Uh, I will come back to you in a few hours and uh, we'll take it out of the mould. But yeah, there's, you can already see what it's going to be. It's no like big reveal from the other side. Um, and, you know, if you wanted to have it a bit darker, uh, in hindsight, I probably should have made the blue darker, but I thought I was going to cover the whole thing in the light blue. But in hindsight, if I did this again, I would do a really dark background, then put my branch on and then do the clear. That way the white really stands out. Um, can't really do it now. I could um, spray paint the back or maybe paint the back with like a navy blue paint. Um, because the top's a little bit bumpy, you couldn't really stand it upside down to, um, to top coat the other side. I mean, you could, but it's a little bit tricky. But anyway, for today's one, it's fine. We've learnt a lot with this, and now we can move on and do another one the right way. <laughs> the right way. All right. Um, I'll be back in a few hours, hey? And uh, we'll get it out and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's the next day. I've left it to cure. And let's get it out, shall we? Now, I have got this. It's just a piece of fabric. Um, sometimes I use it for my, my backdrops for photos. And um, I'm going to see what it looks like with this background. Okie dokes. Let's move that over there. Oh, it's falling over. Make some space. All right, I think that's that will be it. Just so that I, I get like a bit of a darker, a blue background because I think it's going to be really light. And I may, I may even do a darker background on it. Look at that. I know, it's not terribly exciting. We've seen it before. We've seen it before. But there it is. Um, this is my large... Uh, tray mold and uh, I'll link that for you down below as well if you want that particular mold all right now uh, where shall we put this where shall we put this let's just put it here for now like so you can see a little bit if I move it down a little bit we can see a little bit of this seagrass coming up through there oh, maybe the lighter one there so you've, you're getting the the darker blue and then it's going into that lighter blue there what do you think <laughs> it just kind of gives you a little bit of idea of you know what it might look like with a darker background so yeah so that you you can see like what I said to you what was my yesterday <laughs> just a few seconds ago for you um, but yeah you could start with in your mold a darker color or maybe dark going into light like I've done in some of my other videos um, and then let that cure just a little bit and then stick your um, sea fan into it you don't want to wait until it's cured because then it'll be too like it'll be too um, you will lose the depth of your mold so stick it down afterwards and then and then put clear over it so that you can still see those gorgeous branches and there's our little fishies what do you think? It's so cool. 
So yeah, resin doesn't always have to be a practical thing. You can just make it for a, a gorgeous piece of art. Okay, don't think that it has to always be all that useful. Where am I going? Where am I going? Um, I haven't really... I guess I could just stand it up here. Just stand it there for a minute, like so. Stay there. There we go. It's just standing up on its little own, like so. But yeah, you could put it um, on a window, on a window frame, window sill in your kitchen. <laughs> Maybe letting, letting the light come in behind it. Um, yeah, in front of a window. Looks really pretty. Okay. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that video. Something a little bit different for you. And um, I'll walk back over this way. <laughs> so yeah, I have got the bigger, the bigger C fan as well. Um, I'll just have to work out what I can do with it because it's really quite big. Um, but yeah, maybe I can use it in my clock. So stay tuned for that one. And uh, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this one. And uh, take care. See you soon. Bye for now.